little Indian boy. Good morning and afternoon, bots and bodies at Real Liberty Media. And other places. Yes, and that is Flash Somebody. And that is Vinny. Uh, I have another Nick today. What well, is it? I don't know. Can I read? I am Vinny-lated. Vinny-lated. Oh, no. He's Vinny-lated. Hide the silverware. He's feeling Vinny-lated. Oh, no. Okay, let me... Now, let me... Oh, they put the now live on the RLM chat feed for us. So, we are been announced to the world. So, hey, Grimner, thank you for all you do and other hey, things. Well, I, I'm not as nice as you and Mary are about it, but I appreciate Grimner. And uh, hello to the bots and the bodies of the reallibertymedia.com chat where all this crap happens. There's dark cakes right on time. Hey, mental. All right, so today we, yeah, but we got Barman, Cirque says, hey, Pancakes. We got Barman, Beetle, Cowboy Tech, Grimnir, Moose Girl, Rob Works, Brackets DC, Anti Asmo, Chelsea French Slave, Graham Z, IB Don C, Java Doctor 2, J Dread, Ponder Gander, Miss Kate, Rome's, Vanna White, Vint Elated. Weather Dork Phantom Circle. Hello, honey. Cyborg Noodle. Take it, Vinny. And there is Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Hannah says hello to the bots and body at reallibertymedia.com. We're live right now. Dorking along on a Saturday. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's filling up. People uh, have- she's still at it. Hey. Quiet, you crazy dude. And the bots and bodies are elated. And we've got Cyborg Noodle, D Dork Cakes, Indecive Me, Frumped, Frumpy, Gromit, Hagrid, A Mike, Jay's Nines, Jay's Kiss, Prince, Ponsas, Sack Puppet, Smartaz, and what? What? I didn't say nothing. What? <laughs> what? Isn't that Moose's neighbor? Or, you know, they're in yeah. the same area. In the so, vicinity. Yeah. Uh, well, with, within 15 miles of somebody on the internet, your neighbors. He neighbors. Yeah. yeah. I would assume, wouldn't you? Yeah. I, I have neighbors that are miles away. Hey, did you know that the EU has their version of Sturgis? Really? Yep. I shit you not. It's called, uh, I think it's called F A A K E R. It's either F or B. I think it's F A A. Uh, but yeah, they gathered. They're going in September. And they're more inclusive than Sturgis. The, every kind of bike in the world is represented at this thing. And the, the bartender friend of mine is going in September. So. And he's been before, so he told me about the site so I could open it and see what it was. And wow, it was like a European Sturgis. Sturgis. You know where the Harleys go. Yeah. Yeah, but there's Harleys as well, and Carson rides a Harley, but there's other kind of bikes represented in this other, the European version of it. And the people there are. Huh? Rice burners too. You name it. I saw all, they got videos on the on the YouTube about it. So uh, you know it's available to see it, it, but it's basically like Sturgis, except not just Harley's. They're getting attention. You get attention for participation. I think it's the way I took it because they had reps from all kinds of different kind of bike riding shit, from Harley's to bicycles. It's like the modern day education system. Well, I don't know. Just some Europeans are just more uh, inclusive in physical shit than uh, Americans are more narrow-minded. Like a Harley is a Harley. Over here, Harley's a bike. It's for the gang riders, more or less. Like, yeah, it's like saying Coke for... Soda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sim- yeah, it's a... I guess it's like how you judge your terminologies kind of thing. Yeah. 
But I've seen a lot of nice Harleys ridden by people that aren't in gangs, but they're married and older, about my age, give or take. If you're married, does that mean Miss Mary has influence, uh, influence upon you? No, it's see, it's something that people here do to to appease the state. It, it's a financial, uh, it's a straw man action. You do it. You do it to benefit yourself uh, in the society from you know being pestered about your personal shit. So you bond your your straw men together, and they get off your back, and they just attack the one straw man. Are you talking about those that are lost in lore? Oh, absolutely. Boy, are they too. But they believe it, and as we all know, if you believe it, it's true. Doesn't matter what it is. As long yeah, as you true. believe, what? Well, that's the whole fucking point, Vince. If you believe something is true, therefore it's true to you. Doesn't matter what I think. I how, am, therefore it's true. But how could my opinion about something that you believe matter to you? I mean, at any level of concern. You know what I mean? No? Meh, meh, meh. Well, okay. Like, uh, all right. I don't get into the uh, Trump thing so much. Trump is like a TV game show host that's just, you know, over, he, he's overexposed. But he that's doesn't, right. he doesn't ha have for them today. He has, in his own words, nothing to say at all. It's just childish rhetoric to me. That's how I read it. And the results, whatever those are, they don't show up for years after the. Trump's out of office. You won't see any of the results of his shit until he's gone. Like like every other POTUS before him. I gotta interrupt you. I want you to see who showed up in chat, sir. Oh, who showed up in the chat? You know this cause. Oh, how nice. Is this a, is this the cause? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't I don't venture to get too involved in that person. No, I'll just soon avoid it. Could be a coincidence, because it's kind of a cool word. It is. Yeah. So no, I think I would say coincidence, but do a check on the um, on the address. If it's from the UK, it could be. But Hi, if it's local, if it's local to the United States of America, it's probably just you know coincidence, man. Let me. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. I uh, I hear it. Hey, I was doing my impression of Jose. You weren't impressed. I like host B. Oh, you want me to do host B? I, I see, si, senor. I am host B. I am here to help you. <laughs> Jose, can... <laughs> Jose is busy. I, I am host B. I am here to help you. <laughs> Never mind. Baby, uh? don't cry. Uh oh. Hey, you know what I did last night? And I didn't hear a word except for in the background. And I had a company come over. But you I was drank a quart of mayonnaise. Buttermilk. Buttermilk. I was close. So how do you like this? I liked it. We got uh, what? So, well, some of my new followers clicked the like button on the Twitter. Oh, I said, you got followers on Twitter? Yeah. I'm impressed. I, you know what I don't have? What? Followers on Twitter. You know why? Because. because I don't fucking Twitter. You know why? Because you're not a twit. Oh, I, I got addictions that take up all my time, so I don't have time to Twitter. <laughs> exactly. I, I got, you know, young friends. They, they <laughs> games. Just tell them. Gamers. Yeah. I, so, I can't invest my time in that. So I if you got like like 5,000 friends on Twitter, do you, do you have to talk to all of them? <laughs> individually <laughs> the whole purpose of it. <laughs> you, you're not <laughs> well hey, hey, but this. maybe How you've got a different story for number 302 than you have for number 312 what do you do right. then what if this one story does fits everybody in your group except number 312 then what well i will only say what i said last night that i did not uh fully attend that i said be free it's fun we're having a ball in fact tune in tonight which was last night 
on RLM Radio for the Freakers Ball, y'all. Take a point again. Cast your lot with our bot and party for all you got with the barman LRLM, the great Grimner and the mighty moose girl who was uh, who went missing. Hmm. Oh, I did. What happened? Uh, decided in the last 10 minutes. Yeah. Lee. Oh, I'm well, I don't usually catch the show until Monday. The right. Freakers Ball, because uh, then I got circuit work, so I got all day to just fuck off. Circuit work. I but like now you're telling me, like, now you're giving me all the goodies. Oh, Live alert. on the radio before I hear the podcast. Thank you very much. Wow. So what is this? International Fuck with a Mexican Day or something? Ben, me. Huh? Mexican. Huh? 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 Can't Why are you fucking with me, mister? Is it because I'm Mexican? <laughs> the shit people come up with, Vinny, because instead of, you know, you can't call another person stupid because their ideas are stupid. So you got to call them a, a name, a group name, like Republican or Democrat really, or really. what? Do I? Do you think there's a difference between Republican and Democrat? Well, what is a R and what is a D? All right, R E, Publican, and D E, Crat. 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 Well, right. define Crat. What is a Crat? I don't know. Or is it is up. it a Mo Crat, or is it a Demo Crat? You know, how do you def- separate that word in the first place? Is it democrat or is it democrat? Crap. <laughs> it's all a bunch of shit anyway. What's it, what does it matter at this point in life? Nothing is going to shift any fucking direction that we... It's too dependent on physical actions that take place... One way or another way, because people have to eat and get their paycheck. Hey, guess where I was? Uh, uh, you were in New Hampshire. This time, uh, you know, five years ago. Hey, you said guess where you were? New Hampshire. That's wrong. Oh, then, uh, okay. I have no idea. <laughs> where were you five years ago? August the 2nd of 2014. Yeah. At, uh, oh, you're in Nevada. Yes, at the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. August the 2nd of 2014 with Anarchy Larkin Rose. Ah, so you, you met the guy, huh? Uh-huh. No, did, I gave him Did box. you Did you learn anything, though, Vinny? Um, I, I learned that uh, there were other people that think like me. Well, guess that's what, pretty... Guess what question I asked him. Uh, you asked him how big his dick was. No, no, no. No, then I've got no idea. I I asked them who will build the roads. Well, nobody will build the roads. The roads are already freaking there. It's who would maintain the roads, and the people that use them would maintain them. That's what happens when there is nobody, is people take it upon themselves to do it. It's been proven. There's video damn proof of that. Well, I didn't video it, but I I have an example right here, hereabouts, of uh, the road maintaining and Flash went to cough. <laughs> Fucking Grimner. Wait, 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 wait. Grimner goes, I think it's dumb as crap and just morphed into Democrat. <laughs> That's mean. Oh, holy shit. And now, see, now Hanson's going to get all, all mayonnaise jarred out because he thinks you're a Republican now, Grimner. <laughs> Good luck, sport. <laughs> Anyway, what? What? Hey, listen, I'm going to copy this right here. Copy and something. I, are you, I ain't doing any fucking links. No, thank you. Today we're linkless. If we can't use our own brains to entertain people with, well, then fuck them. <laughs> Part of <laughs> their fault. Yeah. And, and this comes uh, from the paraphrase uh, plagiarist uh, through Grim Near. Uh-oh. I use this into a, a post that uh, it, it has wide acclaim so far on Facebook. Uh, 
Facebook. So wide yeah. acclaim. Wait, so you're using Facebook as a reference to brag about something? I had to slap you on both sides of your face. Got What's wrong with you? Yeah, don't even say FB on the show, you traitor. Well, traitor. This comes uh, from reallibertymedia.com right here. Clap. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes. Clap. The corporate right. lame ass propaganda. Yeah, that's right. What most people refer to as mainstream media, MSM, or news. Mm -mm. No, it's not true. No. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Anybody... Hello, want a taco? Test one, two, one, two. Want a taco? Test one, two, one, two. One, a talk. Oh, yeah. And hey, you were saying that we have some listeners outside of the RLM listening. We did, sir. Yes, sir. But and the but... listeners we are not aware of, Grimner knows. Ah. He is mighty. Well, just call me Mushroom. Mr. Mr. Great and Mighty. Uh -oh. He's my Mighty. Well, yeah, but I'll be the Mushroom, though. I'll stay in the dark and just give me some bullshit to survive. You can call me Voter X. Hey. The Robbie, Anonymous Voter. Robbie, you hit me with things and things mm. in the time. You know what I say about that, sir? Uh, what's ANCAP? Don't you cry. Wait. Oh, I'm AN. Okay. And See, I read it wrong. I read IN, and it was AN. So, yeah, I get it. Shot. But see, all this shit that we do, all this crap we talk about, it's all words. Fuck Word. you. Eh. The world's round, the world's flat, the world... The fuck you, you don't know what you're fucking talking about any more than anybody else. But, depending on your indoctrination, you'll go, Ooh, they said the thing I like, they're so smart. You know, there was a point made uh, about that, that uh, people are so willing to allow Trump to do things and, and give them praise. And if it was a Democrat doing the same thing, bloody murder that's because of the divide what of course what are you expecting you wouldn't have this freaking fucking mess if there wasn't two sides to, to have come on Vinny. We're, we're all being screwed in this doesn't matter because you got side a and side b fighting over their side and then you get side c which doesn't exist in the choices of a and b <laughs> so they don't realize it right there on top of the ball they <laughs> realize they they're blindly fucking supporting it willingly going oh you're a freak because you're against it no the freaks that are the ones that are supporting it the freaks come out at night sir unless you're in dc and then it's 24 7 how do you know that i don't know i've uh, only been past dc yeah i've never stepped foot in dc ever 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 there's a lot of places I haven't been to. Then there's a few places I have been to. But D.C. never... Ah, that didn't appeal to me. But Atlantic City in the summer of... Uh, what is that? 78, maybe. Something like that. 77 or 78, 79. I can't remember now. I'm getting getting old. You're getting senile, sir. That too, yeah. You know what time it is. Oh, yeah. It was time to mute so I could cough because I've been hitting my uh, 420 machine. Yeah, I think you're being discriminatory. Uh, according to uh, Rob Works, you say. He says, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Doric Table all way monorail system. It is, we'll uh, be traveling at a ground speed of approximately 30 miles an hour, so keep your arms and legs in the car while the train is in motion, because Uncle Flash just despises those pesky lawsuits. Thank you. <laughs> Did you ever go to Disneyland or Disney any of that when you were in, Amer in California? Uh -huh. <clears throat> Disneyland. Yeah, Oscar. okay. 
do you, magic. All right. Power. Wait, wait, wait. Do you remember the influence that Monsanto had on all the mechanical shit in Tomorrowland? Say it again. Monsanto was huge in Disneyland in the uh, in all the future in Tomorrowland. They had the monorail or the uh, Monsanto had such an influence at the time, but it was like behind everything. But it was it was there. You could see their name. I remember it anyway. Uh, I'm trying to remember an example of what Monsanto was uh, promoting through Disney at the time. It'll come to me when I stop thinking. You know what? uh, Myself, I was. uh, little bitty kid hmm. it was that little ride you float on out there you had the alligators and uh not the pirates of the caribbean the ju- uh, jungle cruise or something like that i don't remember but, yeah, but it's uh, were- like the uh baloo and all that the jungle characters right i don't remember no i, rem- I, I don't either i remember spitting at the alligator and i think i whipped it out and was gonna piss on it I, I like. Well, aren't you just the little tyrant there, Vic Vincent? I'm just a little tyrant. I'm gonna smoke a bowl in your honor because you're such a vicious, you're such a vicious rebel out there in society, threatening to pee on the thing in public. Well, you because must I be stopped. Like oh, it. you're dangerous. Delightful. Vinny, you're dangerous. You got to be stopped. You could get out of control. You could someday go to court and whip out your dick and pee on the judge right there in front of everybody because you're out of control. You see the problem we have here? Fire in the holster. Because you've, well, obviously you've done it before. Therefore, chances are, statistically, you will do it again. <laughs> I piss, therefore. I- <laughs> therefore, I am. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Sorry, group. I got carried away with myself there, but that was fun. The Blues on the Chippewa. I don't even know what that means. Uh, yes, I am blue. I, wow. Today. You. So how do you feel about all this Republican Democrat crap? Is mean anything to you or do you just well, let I mean what what what? Oh. I am like a Hagrid <laughs> and I don't have sheep. Do. I don't give a sheep. <laughs> don't give a sheep. <laughs> well, that's one way to put it. Uh I like it as a, a form of entertainment, but as a form of uh, control it sucks ass. Let me ask you a, a biased racial question then, sir. Okay. In speech, I guess. Yeah. Or post What am I going to be judging? What do you eat when you goose a ghost? <laughs> I have no idea. A handful of sheep. Ah, 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 ah. Boy, Jose liked that joke. <laughs> that yes. white privilege allows me to speak. <laughs> white privilege, I know. <laughs> white privilege. Where did these idiots get these just twisted ideas from? Well, I might say to that, sir, si, senor, your breeches are tore. You better run home and eat some more. Well, I like that, Mr. Hosby. Well, I'll tell you this. When the plumbing fails, the last thing anybody gives a shit about is who speaks what. What they care about is who can fix the fucking toilet. And here's the funny thing about something like a broken toilet. You don't need language for other people to know the toilet's broken. It speaks for itself. See? That's what I mean. There's some things in life that we've been not taught to pay attention to them so that you're dependent on this verbal chaos shit that we do. And it's dangerous. It puts you in a shitty mood, I think. Hey, I want to read some. No, I wouldn't. Short, what? Short, very From short. What? Oh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Be oh, my oh. guest, dork. Want a taco? <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. It before the show. Hey, want a taco? Want a taco? He says, ooh, what happened there? Let's back it away. He says, I still can't get over how flashy art 
and he didn't use an apostrophe, sir. Uh, articulation and nunication, vocal range and dynamics are so spot on, it reaches out and grabs the listener. A broadcaster's dream. Again, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to use apostrophes because uh, I will be terrible, great, and terrible grammar Nazi. Yeah, I will. I'll do it. And, and I ran flash up. Hey, who is this person? Oh, no. I'm, I was just being quiet, not interrupting I thought, you. I thought I had you choked up. And no, t- no, no. I'm just sitting here listening. It's just nice to hear somebody not insult because <laughs> i take a little bit of shit for what i do because i'm vocal and i'm anti-government in a place that people that are pro-government have every right to fucking be there but i don't have to agree with them at all <laughs> and i don't you can be all for the government all day and all night it doesn't make you uh, right or wrong or anything it just tells me where you your mind's at Mr. Control, <laughs> control and punish. You know that's that's the mind. The mo- the modern mind right now is stuck on everybody, the Danes, the Americans, the English, the Germans. You name the fucking country, and average Joe is stuck on punishing somebody for all the shit that went wrong, when everything that's gone wrong has been part of a plan to go wrong. <laughs> Let Those, me ask you what? to ponder something here. Yeah. Now, the uh, mainstream talks about the, what uh, some people call pooch or the bandanistas and uh, the uh, <laughs> y'all Qaeda. Man, they came up. These people come up with some clever stuff. I think it's funny, amusing, and entertaining. But they call folks like me supporters of the anti government. Well, maybe some are, but there's those that uh, would like to just start with government that's doing what they're supposed to be doing and not being the beast. Yeah, what happens like the dog's turned on its master, biting the hand that feeds it. Sometimes you need to starve the beast. Okay. And what? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Wait, I'm sorry. Happy uh, birthday. Grammy. Happy birthday to you. You. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grammy. Happy birthday to you. (laughs) Hey, Grammy. Yeah, I I forgot too. But yeah, it's today, the third. Of August 2019. I didn't even get to say that on the beginning of the program. There's I've been losing my mind on all that. Yeah, There she is. Hey, Mary. Yeah, she's on the reallibertymedia.com chat. If you want to say happy birthday to Graham Z, there she is. Yes, I remember last night. Oh, did you? Well, yeah, I'll be especially... Uh, okay, but <laughs> now what what time is it where you? Okay, we're on the same day. Today is the thirty where you are, right? Yeah, yeah and okay. your time. Yeah. But I'm in the evening. Yeah, you're at six twenty eight p.m. Yeah, yeah, eleven twenty eight a.m. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just making sure we're on the same day because Tuesdays I do a show at eight in the morning. So if you were listening live, it'd be two in the East Coast in the morning. So. Two p- a.m. Yeah, but yeah. there's people up the on chat that just don't they don't want to listen to my program, but they, they're up, they're awake. One my time because seven hours difference between me and you. Right, it's the global time change. You know, this is a big problem, and it's not getting enough attention in the uh, mainstream media. What? And I think, therefore, I am going to talk about this plague upon the American society that has reached around the world. Of global time change. Hey, Cowboy Tech. What's that? Global time change. Global time change. Mm, okay. Why can't we just get on the same time everywhere? Because, well, then they have no way to hurt us. That They rely on it to separate and to uh, hurt us. That's how it works. Uh, oh, and there's different levels of it, right down to the freaking hourly clock. 
in my humble opinion of what I've seen. Because if you live outside of that freaking clock and date thing, I try and, and it always traps me. Circle sent me a thing on the internet. Oh, pick me up at the train at so and so a time. Not pick me up at the train whenever you feel like picking me up because that's insane. You got to have a time. So you're slaved. And these things are subtle and they're they're not intrusive. It's just part of the thing. So you kind of overlook how controlling it truly is, I think. You know what I, I think is more specific to time actual is timing. The thing that you and I talk about, that vibrational frequency. Yes, okay. Then, but see, sometimes I'm, that's unspoken, Vince, too, what, on top of it. I, I just... I've never ceased to be amazed anymore hmm. at how stuff lines up when, when you're vibrating properly. Because if you're not vibrating <laughs> right, what well, happens? Is yeah. Hey, here we are, right here at Real Liberty Media. You, I, uh, Grammy, Grimner, and many others have been been here for a good long while, and others longer than some. But here we are, all are tunicating together, singing "Happy Birthday." Well, uh. Grimner posted Grammy's birthday, and then we start singing. I say we because I, I imagine you singing with me in my head. Mm. Uh, and there she comes, right there. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. I mean, yeah. some people. Right there. Oh, that's nothing. But it, when you got a whole lot of little nothings, they mm. all add up to big stuff. Ah, so there you go. There you go. But you got to balance it out for yourself. You don't let me decide for you. Because you know what I'll do? If I have to decide for you, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> I think that's I think that's what happens. Really do. When you let other people choose for you, get screwed. <laughs> you know what to choose are? It's to what, what, what? No, that, choose. Wait. Hmm? choose, man. To choose is what you wear on your feet. <laughs> to choose, yeah. <laughs> well. Host B edition of the third table. But, but the... the President Vincent, what about all that crap? Uh, wow. Oh, See, I think it's just a bunch of shit. But to, my are, real to you, I mean, to the point where you're uh, mentally in, involved in it. You know what I mean? Where you're for it or against it, one way or the other. For it or against it, sir. At that Trump thing, I I just think Trump's a, like a, a <laughs> like a Barker. You know? Don't be a meanie, get your girl a weenie. And yeah, that's, that's right. the, exactly that's Trump. You know? I can't find my tuner. Oh, there, I got it. You know why I couldn't see it? Because I was looking, expecting to see it looking like it was looking like something else. But <laughs> do you realize there is a, a rude way to say that that will ruin the, the potential customer? You know, there's a tone in your voice that you carry. Right. So you've got to say it. That's a really rude thing to say on a street. And I did it, man. And it was the fucking hysterical. But people would, they'd laugh because I said it right. Yeah. You remember, like the bell. You remember that? It's not a bell, though. It's a, I don't know what it came out of, but it's a, like, you know, a long U shaped stainless steel rod. With uh, one end coming out and a ball on that. It looks like a tuning fork, but I think it was made for something else, and I don't know what. But I found it somewhere sometime. Hey, did did the state make pot legal where you live yet, mister? Uh, you know what? They actually, uh, they, they've they got a dispensary yeah. in uh, Clinton. I haven't been there. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'd like to go in and just look like as a, as a novelty type of deal. Oh, would you ever well, participate I, in the state's version no, of pot, though? No. Okay. No. What is no, there sir. one reason, or are there more than one reason? Well, Moose Girl, matter of fact, she posted uh, hmm. some days ago. She hmm. says, uh, "I finally got my medical marijuana card or something like that in the mail." And you know what it was? No. Well, it was already stated in the Constitution, you know. Hmm. Yeah, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and all that stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's well, the what do you need there? a license? Yeah. See, Listen. they hold shit hostage and then charge you for a license to get it back. Exactly, and so the Constitution really isn't a license. It's a 
contract not with me or you or anyone else. And it's those that occupy these seats of decision. Yeah, to minimize their power, and they've ignored that for like 150 fucking years. Oh, well, I mean, it's always probably been a... No, false. not always. They changed it in the 1870s, Vince. Do, the, do a little well, bit of reading and either believe it or don't. Stop, 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 what? Because I know all about that right there, mm. so... Yeah. Well, I believe in the okay. beginning... Congress, what? Congress adjourned mm. without setting the date to come back. And uh, I yeah. still think in the beginning it was still a bunch of rich kids trying to keep a, a thing, you know, keep a group together. You know the original 13th Amendment and the 14th Amendment that actually enslaves us all equally? That's what yeah, I've been exactly. saying for a couple of thousand. Okay. Yeah. But... But the the face of government has always been the facade of con, for control. Well, I see the oh wow, I see it at any kind of government. I see any kind of authority as that though, and it it's not like a fear reaction. It's just a recognizing it. It just makes the hair on the back of my neck twinge. You know, I get that uncomfortable jiggle when I'm around organized the and it's fake one of tacos says happy birthday grams oh, look at you miss mary she got a birthday yeah. today yeah that's, that's right i got a See. i got a birthday grim's got a birthday coming up this month too we i grim and then after the mary then grim then i then me in september and i think beth sees in september too I don't remember anybody else making any big deal about September except Betsy. And I might be wrong on Betsy. I'll I'm, be 55 here in a short, short while. Like November or something, right? October. October. See, I was a month off because Cirque's November. And yeah, you're before Cirque, but after me. See? So it's Mary, Grim, me, you, Cirque. And then can, and Beth yeah, in there I, I too, I guess. Hmm? Except for the one in October. Well, because see, this is this freaking fantasy um, clock we live on. It's all made up. It's being Vinny centric. Right, but you all this shit is off Vince, please. Everything in our life is made up by somebody to exist the way it does, <laughs> to be explained to us. This is like this because of that. Is a story somebody made up. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Exactly. And that's what oh, I mean is we all get told these freaking out. stories. Don't be telling folks. Hmm. Well, are you going to raid Area 51 or not, mister? Uh, huh? No. Huh? Huh? What you going to do? Nope. Oh, nope. Nope. Not going to do it. Why hmm. not? Hey, I think it's a good idea. It's I think you should go. I think you should take your entire family. I think your family and all your friends, and you should go, and you should go. Hey, we're going to Area 51. <laughs> hey, I got to ask this. Uh, uh, <laughs> Robert, he, he posted in the chat here some time back. Uh, yeah. Cake is an illusion. And my, my friend, we call them uh, the hippies out here, but they're not really hippies. Mm. But anyways, uh, she has that tattoo. Uh, the cake mm. is an illusion is that what it was no i said what i said and i forgot what yeah, I yeah but i think the whole fucking life is an illusion i, well, I can't i can't explain it to other folk in plain language does not define the way that i interpret the world around me and try to tell other people back they don't get it they would never understand what i think it is so i settled to you know shit like it's all bullshit. <laughs> I guess it's the easiest way to explain it. The words, it just goes beyond words. It's like an inner thing. It's like something you, that you feel as an individual. And this is one of those times, though, where there's enough of us that feel that way that collectively something would rock. Yeah. Go ahead. But the. Well, the uh, expression through media and internet and whatnot now is all being manipulated. Period. They, they admit it. That, fuck this. 
worldwide. But they yeah. admit to censoring, and they admit to all these breaking these laws. Breaking them. the laws wouldn't exist, then the laws wouldn't be broken. <laughs> but see, Johnny Come Lately is so greedy and so misled. They live on that uh, that dog eat dog fantasy things. It sucks them into it. So they they yeah. do that. Yeah. And people are being trained that way more and more like with the reality shows. Whoever can be the most devious, sneaky, sorry, SOB. Yeah. That's because of how the rules are, are set. Mm. Favor that type of uh, person within the system. So the, like the machine uh, perpetuates itself, right? those people that are jumping into the gears. Oh, you know what? What's really not as popular here as is in a, where I'm from. What? Coca Cola. I like to give. Yeah, but Coke. I'm just saying this is the first place I've ever lived where when I do the re I do the retail shopping. I like to go to the grocery store, and I've been paying attention over the time I've been here to see you know what stands out and strikes you, and there's a big lack of Coca-Cola at this particular grocery I use. Coca-Cola. But they've yeah. got other products, of course, they sell in Denmark. But the And it strikes me as, wow, they don't promote. And I've seen the big Coca-Cola truck came about a year ago, maybe eight months ago, and pulls up in the parking lot, and they're giving away drinks and bottles and this, that, and the other. But... Their impression here didn't hold. The locals like other shit. <laughs> it's funny. You know that. You know the word uh, soda pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, or soda pop or Coke are like the three common uh, terms, depending on where you're from. And so people say soda pop, and then uh, many variations. Soda pop. That's what my grandpa would call it. But soda, uh, baking soda, bicarbonate was added to water making the bubble and i forget all the years in the, the video uh, uh agrifer or something like that over in bit shoot i'll go find that so that you can look at that but um mm. soda bicarbonate so that's where the word soda comes from filter and you can trace it back in the history this guy does and then pop the the word the sound popping the bottle the cork mm. soda pop mm. Yeah, well, you know, you know what I've learned to do in my my old age. What have you learned? I have learned to pick my poisons. If you're happy and you know it, pick your poison. There you go. See, so as I feel like this about all these things, as long as the person ingesting it is mentally aware of the byproduct of what you're doing, then. It's at the user's peril, you know. If you already know there's a chance you're going to get drunk if you drink this, and you drink it anyway, it's your fault. What happens after that is still a result of you drinking. So you, this is a guy. But wait a minute. But I think people, before they do stuff, they have the wherewithal to say, no, I don't want to do that. But society pushes. That word, where, where, welcome. Well, say that word again. Where or what? Blah, 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 blah. Nah, never mind. Yeah. No, that was heard, I, listen, it's a word that yeah. I heard recently hmm. and one that previously I had not heard in, in a long time. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to bring some link. So I don't check know. Check this guy out. Name it. Well, he goes by Video Lexographer on the, the Twitter and on BitChute. Uh, and we're we're not liking YouTube folks, so yeah. We're not. See, Wait a minute. Why not? Business over. Bit shoot, baby. That's bit shoot. Right. Okay. Get bit and get the bit shoot. So we're changing. We're changing pants. No, I no. am. I shoes. Shoes. To choose is what you wear are, on your are feet. Are we? Where are we changing shoes or pants or shirts or what? 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 Everything. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, That's right. Hmm. We we like to promote bit shoot over YouTube. You Dude. know YouTube doing dirty business, sir. Like <gasps> oh really? Google and Twitter yeah. and your favorite word Facebook. Oh those fuckers. 
terrible and true, sir. You know that Facebook said that. No, no, no. We, uh, well, that was my neighbors. Sorry. Scooter going by they, real fast. They have a patent on what they say they do not do. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, the manipulation and you know, the gathering up, but the shadow banning. Of, uh, uh, you know what? Maybe there's no such even. They're, maybe they're not even doing it. They just talk about doing it. You don't know. You're just seeing the hey, world through. Look, Vince. Let's... I'm going to let everybody in on a little secret. Okay. When they start talking about what they're going to do. Yeah. They, don't. they already did it long ago. Yeah. yeah. I know that. I've been paying attention. I just flunk all the tests because I never have a pen. Yeah. yeah, they go, hey, you know what? We got a surprise test. You know what I got? No pen. Oh shit! I just broke my writing finger. I can't. I can't write. <laughs> so fuck your get test. <laughs> right? Get wrong. Well, I don't know, Vinny. I, I I try to go along with the world sometimes, and you know what I find? When I really do my best to go along with the world, what do you? Uh, the world is fucking insane. I don't want to go We're along wrong. with the world. They're crazy. Shoot them. You know what? Hands- I was I was listening to a rerun of the Shalilama Lama from UCY today, and he had a Clint Richard Clint Richardson was on there talking about you know stuff. It was real interesting stuff, but enough to listen to it more than one time. <laughs> Clint and he gave up radio, and I understand why too. Yeah, he took off so that you know he can apply his energies uh, to writing. More. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I liked him on the radio, though, because it was accessible, and he's full of fucking good knowledge. It's not made-up yeah, no, nonsense. I, I, huh? I got to give a little warning there, too, what? and going back to uh, this guy, the video lexographer, uh, yeah. on these words. You know, language changes it and evolves, and sometimes we assume, like, I like to play with words, you know, that uh, the breakdown of the words. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware. Type, yeah. But sometimes words just come about that hmm. and they really shift hmm. but again words are important i guess uh, well at, like you were saying before the show i at one point used that to make a point to get you to you know focus because i thought what i thought and whether it's true or not it's true to you the person doing the, the complaining i think so whether the other guy's got a problem or not is uh, it's a matter of perspective. I gotta you, hit because you real quick. you can always dodge your own you know your side of the problem and blame the whole thing on me. That's what we we've got that right to do that as people because it's real easy to to not want to be blamed for what's fucking wrong. <laughs> Who wants to be blamed or responsible for the shit that ain't happening? the way it should be happening no well nobody of course so it, it's not like a noble act it, <laughs> sometimes you just somebody's got to take the shit to make the change that's what i think and you take a lot of shit mr oh, vinnie i'd like to quote mr michael jackson the king of pop uh-oh why what do you say begins with the man you know he's here. dead right oh, yeah. he's not saying much now because you know what he's fucking dead no, that's not correct. He is still saying stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shut up, Vinny. <laughs> I mean, go back to the radio, Vinny. Leave me alone. <laughs> they go, shit. Big bully. Out. The skater dude. Hurt my feelings here on the hey, dork table. He's uh, he's doing a deal, man. Okay, and he's but... for... I, I find it fascinating to follow people with imagination. Yeah. But who Who do you know that has that? Do, do, do we really know hmm. someone? Oh, I, I know Cirque. Cirque has imagination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, on the serious side, absolutely. That's uh, oh. I think the uh, how uh, Circle and I and some others are related. We have that same She's soul. She's artistic. And yeah, I love R, her. not ah. <laughs> huh? R. Autistic, not autistic. Oh, clearing I, it up. I don't know, but we yeah. have some. 
we have some people that are not fond of me and Circle on the RealLibertyMedia.com occasionally. Everybody loves Circle, mm. sir. It's, oh, dude, that's a problem. Oh, no, no. There's Circle's made a, a, a few uncomfortable relationships over the years. <laughs> that's, uh, but that's part very of few and far between, but when they happen, it makes me laugh. <laughs> Because you can let the person think, I, right? yeah, but Vinny, I'm a mean prick. I wait, Vinny, not Vinny, like wait, what? I'm a mean prick, and me and Cirque get along. <laughs> okay, so that goes to show somebody something. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I give an analysis on. It. I think right. that uh, circles, and that's the word is perfect. Circle that right. in, in spirit that is more encompassing that grows and goes and beyond bounds. And ah, it's oh yeah the, see the, yeah more in the yeah i know what you mean but see yeah. it doesn't it, it doesn't translate very well in a yeah. in a political or a social explanation of the person because there's no name oh. for it it doesn't exist in our present day modern uh how we associate these ideas back and forth, you know, and then you, here's the one thing that people are going to overlook and, it, and it's because of the similarities, but the cultures are different. Col countries are way, one country raises their kids one way and the other country raises their kids another way. So the, the people aren't the same. They're the same in a sense, but there's a underlying like an innocence to them because they haven't been raped and robbed by their their state. They've gotten something back from the government that they support, so they tend to be more for it than against it. But that's how power does. But uh, not completely blind to the illusion of well, it's a fucking government. They just get something for it, so they're not angry about supporting it. The claim of the greater good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they're very generous people they've even offered me advice you know to make my stay in Denmark more comfortable legally should I ever have this come up this is what you do to the bad battle that and just knowing you know hey cool but nothing happens because I don't do anything in the world to incite the problems that could come by not speaking the language and all that, I feel uh, I feel a move coming in the uh, this uh, vibrational frequency that I'm in. Um, How do you mean? <coughs> well, it, uh, it, the road will call me back, and I think it might sooner than later. Oh, what's <laughs> what's in the wind, Vinny? That you're not telling us about. Back. Is there <laughs> is there something secret going on, or is there's something public going on, and you're looking for a way to tell us about it? What's going? What? What? When do when do, uh, clear, cow son. When do cowboys do the roundup mm -hmm. generally? And what was in the, <sighs> after the square the, dance? Uh, what what the, is yeah. this a quiz about freaking rednecks? Now, come on, stop it. Well, yeah, I mean it'll have to be there, and. and uh, Going completely off point now. Yeah, yeah. The bad, badly are coming up here at the end of the month, the Labor Day weekend. Uh, the National Chuck Wagon Races in Clinton, Arkansas, at the bar. Oh, 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 you're pitching a reality thing. Okay, I'm sorry, Vinny. I was making fun. Dan and Peggy O. Post the link and we'll put it in the notes. Yeah, I'm gonna go, and uh, so I need to. I need to go actually give a uh, get together and, and talk. I, because all the campsites are already Whoop. called for, but I might find me a little spot out of the, out of the way. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. I go set the week out there. Well, you're the sneaky, camp. though. You know how to do shit. I know. I'm invited. I no, no. Know. What I mean is, if, if you're, if you're sick, no, you're just not strandable because it's outside. You, oh. Your life isn't going to end because you, you don't have a hotel room. Some people cannot. Can you imagine? If they didn't have a hotel room at the end of their trip, what would they do? They'd panic. <laughs> you don't think so? I'll tell you what a luxury is in hmm. outdoors. That's a tent. Oh, a tent fuck yeah. No shit. 
you know, it's funny is uh, in 2014, uh, on my trips back and forth into Vegas, I left my camp and left my tent. I came back one time after a big windstorm and all these militia guys and stuff are <laughs> it's scattered to the wind. And my tent is still standing just uh, like I left it in lee of the wind. Hmm. But, yeah. I was, the wind, I was wind doing notes. Change things. Oh, yeah. Good. And yeah, let me go. I've shared this with you before, but I'm going to uh, go out there and borrow uh, National Choke Wagon. I'll go get the link for you. Yeah, we'll post that, and I'll put that in the uh, notes for the show for Grimner. Because Grimner does the post-production jibber-jabber that gets us on the uh, big outside places that get it. This is going to be fun. Yeah, you're a big Twitter, aren't you? Uh, hey, Twitter boy. Uh, are you a, a twit. are you a, are you a twit or a twat? Um, a twat and twit. Ah, so you're you're bi twittle <laughs> or bi twattle. <laughs> wow, what a world! Hey, you know what? We're in, we're in a fucked up mess now, pal. You know that, right? We are. Yeah, you know what I noticed about a week ago? There's guys in the world, okay that are causing financial disturbances through the cameras, right? With lawsuits because they're women and people don't want to do shit for them. <laughs> so so, so they're, they're getting this kind of support about it being discrimination, you know, instead of, you know, there's people out there that cater to that particular vanity, which is the all it is. That's what it was. The cake. The cake is a lie. Okay, but to me, all this stuff is just vanity, Vince. Vanity. It's, you, you, you don't agree or you do? What? 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 It's vanity. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, if I... On both sides, if I have my cake made by a you know, specific bakery you know, to say a certain thing, well, yeah. But if the bakery decides, hey, I don't want to make that cake, that goes against my religious convictions. There well, is. then I got me a fucking victim, and I can go sue him in court. And this is what we've become as collective. This is what people do. I don't think I like this version. You're not listening to my rant, I'm then, not, are you? Because you have me off running down a... That's not I was making a point about how when somebody wants to do something out of the way, they can blame their problem on something it's not. Call it discrimination because somebody else doesn't want to do what they want them to do, even though they're willing to pay them for it. And they say no. Well, I think that's a right that you have as a human being. But the courts, they got other ideas. These freaking lawyers are, man, these fucking people are greedy. They want everything. They want what we think, what we do, what we say, how, how big the hammer is we use to hit the brick, how big the brick is, how many pieces the, the brick splintered into. They want it accountable and bean counters, and do this and do that. And society goes along with it. What? Uh, see, and there's nowhere not to go with it. So I get stuck being called a nut job because I'm not for it. <laughs> You're just a nut job, that's why. Yeah, but see, if Cirque would break down and go, hey, let's go live in you know, America. Well, I can't guarantee she'd like it for one. But uh, things are different than they were when I left it. So hmm, I don't know what I don't know what I would do now if she changed her mind about Denmark <laughs> to be well, it's a different place. When I was there, I was still not using ID, and uh, the only time I really needed ID was when I was traveling, you know, either one state to the next or one country to the other. But. Hmm. Now I don't I don't even carry ID anymore. I carry a laminated piece of uh, paper with me sometimes. There's Real Liberty Media on it. 
I don't know when the last time I saw a cop was either. A couple of months ago, maybe. But that's what I mean. And their presence, when they pass by me, it's so... They're on their way somewhere. (laughs) Or, at the very worst, they are responding to something and somebody got hurt. I saw them at a car accident about a year ago, I think. Yeah, it might have been in the winter time, though. I'm pretty sure. Here we go. This is the very interesting. And uh, Grimner's filled in some missing information for me. And oh, for, what's going about on? the cake is a lie. And he asked where it comes from. Hmm. If I knew where, and I don't, I didn't. And there were some guesses here about uh, France and uh, let them eat cake hmm. and that sort of thing. But uh, for, uh, Grimner says it, it comes from the video game portal. And at the very end of the game, it was written because the AI had been promised cake if you did what she wanted uh cake is a lie okay it, it's uh, uh, a hope of a future promise of uh, sweet and yummy goodness well you know what i was thinking about earlier today mister uh i do you want me to guess how many guesses did i get none well, i'm going to I'll- tell you for free because uh well i'm reading it kind of on the thing on the internet chat because uh front posted up the thing from the daily mirror about pedophile abuse blah 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 and i was thinking earlier today about this pedophile big controversy all this fucking time right all of a sudden i've been alive since i can't well, i was a little child and now i am i'm a grown man and all of a sudden there's this big pedophile epidemic now, either this thing has been going on since I was a little kid, and I missed it, I was too homely, and the, the pedophiles didn't want to fuck me, or maybe it really is a real rarity, but there's so many people on the planet now, you can claim that it's some big epidemic, when in reality, it's just a... What if, if, what if it is a certain small amount of people, but they could all be found congregated together in certain... Uh system there's tells uh come on people like that would like joe biden's obsession to smell the children and be and be photographed doing that over and over with a different kid all the time and the public to take so fucking long to look at these pictures and finally go wow yeah the guy is kind of weird uh of course all the insiders know uh, what hey man this is crap but insiders are not Vinny. the choices that on some kind of listening device. But the choices the available. Are, are you a Joe Biden fan? Yeah. If if Joe Biden wasn't put in your face, would yeah. you ever choose him? I I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to look I at would, the guy. I would. Not only would I, <laughs> I would boot him as well. I've heard him yeah. speak. He's oh, terrible. Oh, yeah. I would choose him. I would boot him. Yeah. Yeah, but have you ever heard it? Heard him speak? Uh, like when they catch Trump on the video and off the thing, that kind of shit. And they had they had some good stuff on Biden because <laughs> he's a he's like LBJ. He's like a redneck, and he's better than you, but he's not that kind. You know of, what, that kind of guy. What campaign term you'll probably not hear from the Biden campaign? Biden time is be like. Not not nothing as good as like, oh, yes, we can. Or make America great again. Why would you pay all that attention to it this early anyway? It's just, come on, Trump's going to get reselected so they can go and put a central bank in Iran. Iraq. Iran. Iran. So get, did Iraq, hey, did Iraq officially get their central bank installed yet? Not yet, but they. How about Afghanistan? That's right. Because all these countries... We're not going to war until after the election. Well, there's just this funny thing about all these countries that the United States is at war with are countries that don't want to deal in the petrodollar. So when they yeah. don't want to deal in the petrodollar, then all of a sudden, all the people that live there hate their own government and they need to be protected from it, according to you know the news. <laughs> like when... when uh, uh, Syria was supposedly gassing his own fucking Assad. <laughs> gassing his own people. For what? I mean, this is the the news. This is how they talk to you. 
like you're a freaking idiot. Can we add that to the notes from uh, Grimner? I don't know, Ken. What are you talking Graf. about? Okay, I was on a rant about being a freaking idiot there, mister. Uh, okay, you know, sometimes I'm an idiot. idiot. Uh, haven't you ever been an idiot? Haven't you ever been wrong about something? But you, at the yeah. time that you were wrong, you didn't know you were wrong. You thought you were right, but when later came. <laughs> anyway. Know that you can still what? be wrong. <laughs> you're wrong yeah because <laughs> it's all a matter of perspective so whoever you know whoever you're trying to impress with the perspective is gonna have a a response to you <laughs> anyway so what's up with you today Vinny? what are you doing uh, are you reading I'm a, yeah well i'm gonna go to town i'm lighting up night. a pipe Good for you, sir. Oh, well. I went to town, so that was kind of different. People, eh, no matter what language you use or however you call this, whatever crap we're doing in this life, people are all the freaking same everywhere you go. Just a matter of how you uh, interpret it. And what you, what participation you take in shit, too. Because you can stay out of a lot of crap just by not knowing what everybody's talking about when you really do but you don't have to let them know it whoops good girl sit hannah sit the cake is a lie uh, yeah. yes that was the uh that was that was from the dog she was saying hey to everybody <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to ask my friend Lacey about this. The cake is alive. She has a tattoo. Hannah loves you long time. Oh, yeah, no. yeah. Hannah's my niece, too. Are you serious? Uh, I named the dog after uh, my favorite movie character. But in a, Hannah Barbera, but you, uh, in a girly fashion, because I didn't want a male dog. I wanted a female dog. I Hannah? was particular about the dog that a, that Cirque got. And Cirque brought back the wild-haired Hannibal Lecter. And she lives up to her name. Protect us so, to the bitter end, man. Who's the Hannah you're talking about? My dog. <laughs> no. Hannibal. The... Hannibal. 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 Yeah. yeah Hannibal Lecter. But I just... <laughs> Let's call up Victor, shall we? Let's take a look at that. So, yeah, I just took it and turned it into two words instead of one. Ourself, and, not then, bought. and then she has, her name is Hannah, but her long name. <laughs> so I had, I had a dog when I was in North Carolina that uh, <laughs> I named her Stephanie. <laughs> anyway. And just there's more. That was the dog. That's what I called her too, Stephanie. Like she was. That was her name. Like who, whoever uses that, they would use Stevie or some other word, but not me. <laughs> Had this deer-legged Chihuahua <laughs> I called her Stephanie. You know, if you could cross breed a, a Chihuahua and a pit bull. That would be some vicious creature, wouldn't it? No, because Chihuahuas don't know they're not pit bulls. I had a Chihuahua when I, when I was in North Carolina. There was a few dogs over the years that you know came and went, and one of them that stands out is Zeus. Zeus was a just a little bigger than a teacup um, ch teacup Chihuahua. It's about I don't know maybe a two pounds three, but he'd fight he'd fight the other Chihuahua. So you know, he had balls, and when when he was out in the yard and holding his ground, like, he didn't care what size the other dog was; he was gonna fight him. If, I saw a Chihuahua <laughs> kill people one time. Oh wow! Well, they're vicious. Dogs are vicious. Doesn't matter. Like, he got stuck in a stoke and choked him to death. Yeah, but see, then you got dumb dude I luck in the dog world, just as well as in our world. If you Friends trip out. or misstep and something goes wrong, your life can end in a blink. Just clink. It's over. It's like, hey. yeah, I, I got in trouble. You ever notice that? Unsensitive. To what? I, I, 
kid. Yeah, I, I was telling him about the Chihuahua and the, the pit bull. Well, I said German Shepherd. It, yeah, his grandma and mom thought I was uh, shouldn't be saying things. Shouldn't like be that. saying what? What? Ah, now I'm lost. Should... Telling stories about uh, dog fights. Oh, no, that's not good. No, no, probably not. But it just amazes me is the control that they got when they're around us. Because they can be, you know, I mean, if they were afraid and they had to fight for their self, they'd hurt you. Yeah, I got in trouble. Or you'd over. hurt them. You know, whoever's first is going to win is basically that how, how, that, how that shit goes. You know what I, did? You know what I, did? I said, fine, fine. I go, here, here, I take this book from matches and go place it. Like well, I could take a sock and that dog knows tug of war. And she growls and she goes through all that vicious, you know, dog stuff. But she's not going to hurt me. She's just growling and shit. It's like she even knows it's a game. But if you're listening to her, you <laughs> it's pretty convincing. You know, for such a small dog, she's got, she pulls, pulls on the good show. I mean, you've heard her on the radio. We have. Anna, we love Man, Anna. But she's not that big of a dog. She's really a small dog for yeah, that amount sound, of, yeah, that like, amount of, like real big guy, your voice. It's, it's a show. Attitude. Because she, you're... yeah, she hasn't had to go out and fight anything yet. So I think it's just growling and, you know, Two the nature tail. thing. Yeah. But no experience to it. Let's see that. She's never had to fight anything in her life. And her and the cat play. They scratch at each other and bite each other, all that crap. It looks real vicious. And they're both just laying there. It's not one trying to escape the area they're doing it in. And But looking onto it, you go, wow, these fuckers are going to, wow, what cat's going to get? Scratch the shit out of her. <laughs> but it never happens. Yeah. Okay, wow. the, well, I don't know how to explain it. It's not because I stop them. I let nature take care of itself. So them not scratching the shit out of each other is them. It's got nothing to do with me. They have established their the borders of it. But vicinity. now it could be the, the wavelength that I carry about violence. Maybe that translates to your animal. Because the animals aren't violent to each other. They're playful. And they're just rough because they're animals. Wow. They roll around on the floor and bite. And, you know, they're animals. We're, we're beyond all that <laughs> until we're drunk. Then we go back to that. <laughs> but that kind of thing. Yeah, they've kept, kept it simple here. It's just uh, a fight undertaken with one's efforts. All the intensity of the wild animal. Grr. Grr. Ah, man. Yeah, but... Yeah. The loyalty of a dog, there's nothing like it. Humans are, don't even compare to a freaking dog. And that's because, and not to belittle us as humans, but we got a lot more going on in the first place. You know, so a dog's priority list in life itself is a lot smaller. But, man, when they bite on that loyalty thing, <laughs> fuck, you can't, you can't make a dog not like you. You have to really be an idiot to do that right i mean you agree or not i mean fuck come on dogs are the best so i i have a dog story but and, uh, do you are you not a dog lover yeah I love yeah dogs. okay well me too uh, but i, I got a, I have a dog too. story okay there, right all right from uh, nicole smith and this is the cherry wolf daughter bless her heart okay and bless her heart so she she has her dog honey bear been part of their life for a very long time and uh, dogs don't live as long as us humans so uh, the time's coming for uh, for her to pass this life but anyways bless y'all's heart i uh i shared that she had a, a gofundme coin because they're gonna have uh, some you know final arrangements here um you know what i said to him the, the blessings and richness of the honest love is uh, such a gift and you only get that from from an animal, I think sometimes it, it, you really don't have. Uh, I don't think people really have that full capacity that a dog can give you. Well, be, and I would say because of the attention it takes us, what we need to do takes up a lot more than 
what a dog's responsible for compared to what we're responsible for. So they've got that that added animal thing going for them. You know, they can put their attention on one thing. We can. Yeah. I I've got to finish this here. Oh, and that okay. I think it shows the uh, the goodness though that dwells in the heart of man. And so they was asking on their GoFundMe for five hundred and seventy five dollars, and they raised a total of nine hundred and five dollars, which I think is great. And I sent a little uh, piddly five dollars, and I think, well, you know, if a bunch of us do that, a hundred and something, it'll it'll meet that uh, that need. So this is a great picture. I'm going to bring the link over so that you guys can see it. You're a communist. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're a communist. I guess, yeah. Because, hey. see, well, it's all a matter of the way you spy. Who cares? <laughs> okay, there you go. That is uh, Nicole. But, J Vinny, just because I call you that over an incident that's isolated about how you see money spent that helps people. That's kind of a shitty way to judge somebody's whole character, isn't it? Over one event. You know, because yeah. I don't think life's all about that. You know, the things that you do to identify them as political should be done on purpose. Not not done by other people looking on it thinking it's, it's political when it's not. <laughs> it has when? nothing to do with any of that. But you couldn't. Yeah. What? Links. And I'll, I'll give it to you after the show. So oh, okay, after the show. Then I'll throw it onto the notes. And the, uh, or the, and the or, take I think, too. Because the Grimner will want the notes. I, I just, just put it all in there. I send it all to Grimner. I let him fucking worry about it. <laughs> I'm going to go copy before it gets Trump. Because, right you know, I have I'm, my quest to take over the world, my membership in my cult is up to four four members of my cult two of them don't know it <laughs> one of them doesn't have a choice <laughs> so, but i am accepting applications <laughs> well can you send me the paper <laughs> wouldn't that be a hoot <laughs> come on where you at? well you know what the last thing i would really want in in the life is for people to expect me to be responsible for what they know no i ain't playing that game i know what i know and you know what you know and sometimes we agree and sometimes we don't we got an incoming message from grimner he grimner, says far wide, the great and mighty anger oh uh, grimner asked me the ultimate question to life the universe and everything he says what do you think life is all about, Flash somebody? And I can sum that up so quickly you'll be amazed. Life is about having a good time. There you go. You can celebrate that. Because, what? well, depending on the task you have, it's your way of doing that task. You can make fun out of it. Or make it feel like if if by doing it, you feel good about doing it. It's a choice you make. Yeah. I think. Like when yeah. when I get out there and do the yard for Cirque, I, that's a specifically for her kind of thing. I don't give a flying shit about the fucking yard. I don't care one, one. I don't care if it's mode or if it's not mode, but she does. So because she cares, I do it for her. But I don't give a shit. I'll never care. What for? She cares. That's enough. You know, it keeps the every, all, everything balanced. The grass is growing fine. Living and dying with the choices we make. Right. Well, some things you can just... I hate to say it. You can still be silent about it and not commit your voice and just do something. Capitulate. Right. Well, there's the illusion of, oh, a lot of people agree it makes it better. Well... If that's what you agree with, but not if you disagree with it. Well, he so, said you're wrong. I don't care. She said uh, that dogs are not vicious. Oh, yeah. Hannibal, she knows uh, I can put my hand in her freaking mouth when we're play fighting. 
and she bites but she doesn't use a hundred percent of her available power she's just like daintily playing with me yeah it's communicating it's the original snapchat but if the dog ah, okay come on now stop, if the dog was startled or frightened by something else while i had my hand in her mouth and she reacted in fear she could bite break a finger or something but fortune's been with me but that's what i mean by animals are animals they react way differently than we do but mostly the same but just different uh speeds i think well you know what sir well let me ask you because if i take a newspaper and roll it up into a, a like a roll and slap my hand with it within 10 feet of that dog that dog's going to jump straight up she's going to panic and be afraid now if i do that behind your back to you what i'm going to turn around and hit you in the mouth mister why have lob dogs with me <laughs> i'll be right yeah uh-huh snap it man this is going on my bucket list yeah. then things i've got to do with vinny I, yeah, I I got to uh, scare Vinny when he's visiting us in Denmark. <laughs> yeah, uh, how are we gonna get smuggled uh, in there? I don't. I gotta... Isn't that isn't see that's what I mean about this trap that we. Mm. It's a game. We all. It, I just got lucky with this American passport shit. It's got nothing to do with me as an individual at all. Period. It's the passport pulls a lot of weight in the political world. I don't know why. It's crazy to think that you'd be caught out in sea and not have a passport. You're in big trouble. Oh, yeah. I was telling you about that. You can't travel yeah. on a boat because, well, then you're being smuggled. If yeah. you don't have permission to be aboard that ship, you are you need to, uh, to be documented. See, that's the whole point of it. If you if That ship There's has no record of you being on it and you're on it. You're breaking maritime law, and maritime wow. law is fucked. They will Stop. fuck you up to your fuck you thing. <laughs> no, no, good. yeah, they don't care how much you cry. <laughs> they don't care what you promise them. You've broken the fucking maritime law. Suffer, dog. I think I'm joking. I'm telling you, man. That it, it's so. It was so huge when I was in. This is in the '90s. That wow. I got on a little tiny forty foot some kind of sailing boat, and these people yeah. had me go down to the uh, local authority and get my passport stamped to travel on their little boat. And without that stamp, if they would have got pulled out, you know, got boarded out at sea by the whatever, and no paperwork for me, I'm a stowaway on that fucking boat, <laughs> jail bound, man. You go to jail. My paper is better than your paper. But I'm saying this, that the people that I was dealing with were legal and did everything by the book. So I was I was in that kind of company and prepared with the documents to play that game. It, well, let's see. But, uh, I guess the only time that I could actually consider it I had been on international waters would probably been the crossing the Mississippi. But I, I guess I wasn't actually on the waters there was a no not in the river of course not you're, I think you're, now, you're in the american ocean. river yeah well the, actually mississippi is international waters is so. it oh okay yeah well see I, I i don't know all that maritime detailing shit I don't, yeah. you can get in trouble for well thing. you know what I'm, I'm not gonna be out sailing anytime soon <laughs> so benny what trouble am i gonna get into here come on so where are you going I don't know. I just have a very quiet, peaceful little life at Cirque. There you go. Goober still wants a, a yacht. Good. I hope he gets a yacht. I, I hope Goober gets two yachts. You know, there was a fellow in uh, that did not go to Alcatraz, and uh, he had a mansion. Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 Elma, Elma he, Fudd. He got, yeah, he got mine lost. I am Elma was. Fudd, millionaire. I own a mansion and a yacht. Anyway, <clears throat> so what? 
but I'm not going to. How the fuck did we get on this topic, you weirdo? International waters. Oh yeah. Well, what? Okay, what is the absolute weirdest way that you ever traveled? Hmm. <clears throat> Let me think. What would it be? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Weirdest way. Gee. Maybe it, it, uh, huh? a moped. A moped. I got it. A moped. A moped. Okay. Wow. Now, why a mo? Of all the opportunity you had to come up with something that was unique, why a moped ride? What What about it was different? Oh uh, well, because uh, people laugh at people on mopeds. Like <laughs> yeah, little rice burgers, juniors. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine if you went to uh, Washington State to pick up a pack of Rainier beer? Rainier <laughs> beer. Yeah, you're bringing it back on your little. Yeah, because we get those run by the house now and again, and the dog even howls at them. You know, she never howls at uh, Harley Davidson. Not once have I ever seen the dog go. But when the, the little rice burners or the scooters, they cut that high pitch, and the dog barks and goes all the shape shit because I, it must vibrate on that wavelength that just gets her rocky. She wants to take on the world. She's Rocky Balboa. Adrian! Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I think, man, Stallone would be a great. I think Stallone would be a good VP for for Trump. Yes, and let's get Arnold Schwarzenegger as the president. No, no, let's... no. Trump, Trump, and Schwarzenegger. It's Trump oh, and okay. Stallone. Stop the Trump, sir. Why? Wait, you're in this deep with this idiot. You're gonna change him now? Come on. What did he ever do to you? Hmm? Hey, he is a hero, and you know what? <laughs> He's a hero <laughs> too. <laughs> For real. And wow. a lot of things actually would not have come out the way they did had Hillary been selected. Like what? Oh, the, for the Hammonds and for uh, the Bundys. Oh, okay. On a, a local level now. that you can... Well, okay. You know who, who has been a, a act, appointed acting uh, director of uh, uh, the BLM is the person that this, uh, he's doesn't believe in public lands, as they call him. He's a he's, uh, a writer, a lawyer. Um, mm. I, I'll go together his name, but anyways, yeah, he he, uh, he wants to sell off the federally held uh, lands in wild areas. Yeah, uh, are but, you for it or again it? Well, I, I'm conflicted. I think there's a mm. uh, overreach, but there's also a need for preservation. Mm. And since we are where we are. I mean, let's not go overboard and say we need uh, 30,000 acres. Right, Vinny. And it, it's going to all boil down to the end is who is going to decide the decision to make that happen one way or another way. That's what it comes down to. And the people that are in collective in charge are fucking dangerous and greedy, too. They need to be stopped before they take everything. But hey, that's just my opinion. There's not much left, so yeah, watch your watch your feet. <laughs> they might come and repossess those soon. You never know. And all this crap, I oh these fucking memes on Minds.com about guns. Uh, yeah, it's it's nice they got these pretty girls with guns and all that, but when. When you think of the reality of what they're representing us, they're going to fight the U.S. Marines when they come to invade them. This is what they're telling you, right? Yeah, well, we're in occupation. Here he is, is the, 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 uh, the Department of Interior Secretary. His name is Bernhardt. He appoints William Perry Penley to act as the head of the Bureau of Land Management and from the Washington... Washington, the Associated Press, this is a conservative lawyer and writer who argues for selling off the nation's public lands, is now in charge of, uh, oops, by the way, of federally held rangeland and other wilderness. Mm. I went to, uh, if 
you you won't know who this guy but it is but some folks will hmm. range war war on the west james angus mcintosh because uh hmm. words have meanings in the law and speaking on grazing a lot it is a surf and hal talks about it. You're, you're echoing me it's a allotment is yes you is a no you're not is a surf no. private property right and grazing allotment is not public, public land it's land and interest in land owned by the u.s disposal only mineral resources yeah it goes on but it's about a angus mackin yeah, but you're weaving in and out right now with the voice. No, and you're, you're echoing. Yes. I don't get... <clears throat> okay, there's something going on with the communication then. All right, proceed. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop this right there. Oops. I think it's got to do with you being close enough to the damn microphone. Uh, error. Yeah, big, dummy, yeah, dumb head. Right. You big, dummy, dumb head. Anyway... Oh, somebody did something. What was that? I'm going to take a politics 360 also. I heard a pippity If you're if you follow me on Facebook, go over and it's a few uh, few posts down. No, I, I don't do the Facebook I, stuff. I'm not talking to you. Oh, okay. No, sir. No, sir. I'm not talking to you about Facebook. But see, all the things that I personally am boycotting, I don't use them. If I'm boycotting your corporation, believe me, I'm not using your stuff. <laughs> or if I am using your stuff, it's because there's no way out of using your stuff, you greedy corporate cunt. <laughs> so, free market these nuts sometimes. What do you think of that? <laughs> People. Man. What a world we're in, Vinny. I give you twenty percent off whatever they're charging. Come to Crazy Flash and check out my stuff. <laughs> Gonna do that. Check out my presses. No. Mm -hmm. mm. Did we lose Vinny? Holy squat! I guess we've lost Vincent. So this is Flash at the Dark Table. My chariot. Yeah, there he is. Wait a minute. Okay. My chariot's coming for me. I don't know what you're talking about. My chariot. Yeah. English. English. A horse. A horse. My kingdom for a horse. Oh, you had to go out and water the lilies. Oh, sir. I got oh. a phone call. Listen. Oh, listen. you got a phone call. Well, tell me you'll talk to him later. You're doing a dark I table. Am, I am going to do this thing that yeah, I'm doing right yeah, now. the thing that you're doing. You know what I'm going to do? No. I'm going to put my clothes on. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, here it goes. Yeah. One, one leg, two legs. So I've got about 10 minutes, and I've got a burn, burn out, bug out on you early, Mr. Flash. And Flash ran away. No, you there. just go ahead and say, oh, don't, wow. Do not call me a go I give people. you a chance to opportunity there to speak, and then you go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down there, Spark. It's okay, just the dark know. table, so you got something come up. And, whoops, one of my neighbors. So he had, uh, yeah, one of those, and the dog didn't even bark. But Holly so, Davidson. So you had some big thing come up, eh, Mr. Vinny? Huh? Yeah. Huh? yeah. Huh? Huh? I, have, I have to go and uh, have a set of tasks to accomplish for today. Yeah. Right. I'm going to buy new. Uh, Huh. Shoes, soft shoes, the ones that yeah, you wear, you know, not the one, uh, yeah, the ones that you wear on your feet. Choose, choose, choose. Hey, choose. And other things. Oh yeah, other things. How nice. Yes. I, your your parents must be proud. Yeah, they would be. They That's just good. wow, and he can speak and everything. Wow. Huh? huh? You know, my huh? taught me to so, speak at a very age or i learned i don't know but anyway she did teach me to uh read and write yeah you know kids don't even <laughs> don't even learn currency okay but i took your last hold on a minute i took your last uh, post I, the yep. uh the latest it matters how you stand yes doug okay. knows my friend now i'm putting that into the notes of 
the show tonight. You're freaking awesome, dude. And do you have the one for the... Uh, no, that's the all I'm doing. The cake is a lie? Just that. No, please, the cake is what? a lie. That's I don't even know where that is. I will give it to you right now. Uh, the cake is yeah. a lie. Oh, you are so... This is very important. And the, uh, uh, You are making my tumor bleed, my friend. Sir, uh, sir. The things sir. I do for the door table. Uh, this goes with... Okay. Throw uh, it out there on the RLM. <laughs> Bonehead. <laughs> right. I just fucking with, the, with the whole right. uh, idea right. of you had an idea. Lost, Holy shit! Lost. Yeah. Lost in lore. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We agreed to to title it that. This Wait goes with it. Perfect. The cake is a lie. Lost in lore. But there's no damn link. What are you talking about? That's cowboy that's, tech. That's, that's just a little title. The cake is a lie. I already got a title. I called it "Turn to Stone." <laughs> <laughs> Put in, put in there that what I just posted. The cake is a lie. Lost or, in before or that. what? Nothing or nothing. Oh, yeah, that's okay. What. Got it. <laughs> Tell me what to do, Mister. Wow. Talking See about the beginning of the show, sir. Yeah, that's just you being controlling and me letting oh, you talk. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes a nut is as good as a wink yeah. to a blind horse, Vinny. Hey, so even you a blind just. Pig will get anchored here. <laughs> yeah, if it's uh, sometimes I'm playing and sometimes I'm not. You never know. But like you say, it's 420 somewhere, so smoke them if you got them in here. I got one roll. I'm going to carry it with me. Hey. Burn it to the ether. Where's my wallet? I don't know. Where, uh, what did, where uh, did you leave your wallet? Somewhere. Where did you last engage your where? wallet? I put it at. Uh oh. <clears throat> now we're having technical. Where did I put my wallet problems? On the dork table. Well, I guess it's kind of fitting. The dork table has brought out the uh, strangest in it. <laughs> in my hostages. Huh, Vinny? Wait. Oh, that's the TV. Right, Vince? No, Vinny's not listening anymore. So, uh,. Yep. I guess I'm going to do a table to myself today, eh? No, you're not. No, I'm not. You're staying or you what? No, you're a couple minutes. Well, then I'm going to be doing a, a show. Hey, on. Hey, you ain't got that long to go. You'll be fine. You'll see. Oh, okay. Well, you're just waiting on your ride. Your ride might be here, might not. One no, of those. I said, give me ten minutes. Hmm. Now give me three minutes. Give me three minutes or more. Yeah, three minutes. Where are no. you going to go? The town. For what? What are you I doing? Huh? Right I, where I put it at. Right where I thought. Are you going to smile for the cameras and the facial yeah, recognition my, software? Let me get my documentation. Are, are you going to flash your freaking ID card I'm everywhere an, you go? Yeah. Are you a good citizen, Vinny? Are you? Huh? Huh? Don't Absolutely. dodge the question, you big coward. I have coward. civil civil duty, and I will I will carry out my civil duty. Sir. Liar! Do it. You're okay. a liar. I have my stuff gathered. I'll grab my key. <laughs> okay. I'll yeah. quit playing with you then. And that's picked up. Boom. Yeah, I carry a purse. All right. Thanks for uh, having me along, Flash. Okay, you buddy. Know. Yep, go, buddy. See you Thanks, later. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks. Well, so so ends the uh, Vinny's portion of the dork table today on the third of August in two zero one nine. <laughs> it's kind of fun to argue with Vinny about stuff, though. And some of it we're serious about, and some of it not so much. And I I don't know. Guess it makes the rest of the. Uh, reality that much easier to, to not take too serious that yeah, that's what I'm thinking it slowly so I'm saying it like a retard because I was thinking it that slowly you know to just take shit that eh, here goes my dog but just to take shit as it comes and uh, not get too crazy about the results one way or the other that could be fucked up too because good things are supposed to make you jump up and down and, you know, wiggle your your tail and all that. So, hmm. 
So a lack of enthusiasm is frowned upon, I think, by the peers. And I'm probably one of those. I'm I'm a little older now, so I've seen shit so many times in life that it's hard to surprise me at this point. I have to really see something unique to be surprised. And it doesn't matter uh, what it is, as long as I believe I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing, that's what matters. So, mm, as it's not violent or uh, <laughs> too crazy. I like a little bit of crazy. You know, it's good to be entertained by life instead of a victim of the whole fucking thing. So it's good to see other people doing what, you know, they do in public and behaving how they do. And uh, I like to just participate in it from a distance. I'm, I think I'm pretty much, well, I'll, I'll, I associate when I have to, I think is what it boils down to. So... I can, I guess I can control that by where I sit in the bar lets everybody else know where I want to be socially. Because there's a, a par portion of it where if you want to be social, that's where you go. Sit right down there and they'll all talk to you. Well, I go to the other side, <laughs> sit by myself so they won't. And, uh, it doesn't seem to in, like insult anyone, but I'm no, I, I'm very aware of it. Anyway, the small things in life that make me giggle today, didn't even notice they happened uh, 30 years ago, I suppose. But uh, I get, 30 years ago was when I was just first learning that I didn't, well, a little over that. I was just first learning I didn't have a greedy bone and uh, I didn't want to own slaves. <laughs> uh I wasn't quite sure about what a slave was at that point, I don't think, yet, but it was coming. <laughs> and then once I did find out, I was over, over 30, probably closer to 40, maybe, and there's no explaining it to other folks. Other people have their, uh, their own personal way of looking at this collective that we're sharing, right? And... Uh, and I just always go back. It goes back to my my indoctrination. I'll say, hey, if it's this shade of blue and that shade of red and, and it's got white in it, chances are it's an American flag. <laughs> but sometimes it's not. So, <laughs> But usually if you see red, white, and blue, if you're me you know, or where I'm from, the conditioning goes way deep. I, I even have a, a handkerchief that was made in... In, in China of a wavy American flag and it says 100% cotton made in China and it's an American cracks me up to, to this day hold on I'll be right back anyway taking a cough break there I hit that pipe a little too hard with me and Vinny were chitter chattering about the price of nothing but me and Vinny Hmm. I don't know, I can't speak for him, but Vinny is more for the legal uh, answers than I am. I don't think the legal answers, uh, they don't work for me. They don't seem to be weighed out or balanced out by any kind of reason or thinking. It's like a beauty contest. I like my I like my representative, so whatever my representative says is what I'm for. And the shit that they're for is so complicated that you don't know what they're for. They don't tell you what they're for, and they don't tell me what they're for. And we got 5G coming to prove it. So I guess if you're if you catch the dork table out there in Radio Land. And you agree with the way we and Vinny see some of, some of the stuff we see alike. You know, like the 5G and chemtrails, banking, politics, but not um, not the God issue. I got my own thing about that. Now, Vinny calls it spiritual. 
and I guess we don't use the word religion as a staple on the dork table, but the God concept thing. And I always just thought everybody has their own kind of interpersonal thing about it. And I found out that, whoa, you know what? I was way the hell off. It's a group venture kind of thing. And uh, to make it real, you have to join a group of other people that believe certain crap. <laughs> and if you don't believe the crap that they're telling you to believe, well, then you can't join the group. But, well, you know what you can do is pretend that you believe the crap the group's telling you and join the group and just mimic the crap until it's familiar, you know, like uh, we've been taught to do in, <laughs> in other ways depending on the certain situation. Like what I think of the real moon landing thing was a fraud. Other people guarantee it happened. Well, there you go, back to perspective. But... When the results are as weak as they are, as far as proof, what? where's the proof? And why would you not go for 40 years? <laughs> well, what did they do when they were there the first few times that fucked them up so bad with the Moonians <laughs> that the Moon people don't want us back till, you know, yeah, right. Uh, I did see a thing that said uh, the reason they can't accomplish a moon landing today is because they've been regulated out of the possibilities that they have available to get there and what they were reckless and careless with in the 1960s they can't accomplish it today because it's not legal anymore <laughs> so yeah. these guys are crafty you got to give them credit they're you know they're good writers it's not like they write shitty stories it's just they write stories that are shitty mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hey cowboy tex on here i don't know if he knows i'm on the radio but he says if the system does not do what was intended it does not work true but that's not how we're trained to identify this thing anymore as a collective there's other issues now that are, have way more attention uh like the 28 genders and <laughs> trump you know anything outside of where you're at to distract you from where where you are so that you can not fix nothing that's wrong <laughs> it's a constant cycle it goes on and on and on and I have my own personal addictions, but I, I accept that as not blame anything. Hey, I do this because I'm addicted. Okay, it's a good reason to do something. <laughs> it's just as good as anything, I suppose. <laughs> but now, now that we're all connected to the Internet. Have you guys got all you got your barcode and got your camera implant in your eyeball? <laughs> your forehead <laughs> I know where Hans is going to put his <laughs> so wow what a visual that must be for all you ladies huh yeah you're welcome I thought of you for that <laughs> I felt like being rude like I don't know free range rude anyway so yeah listening when i can flash somebody says cowboy tech yeah well good you stay pretty busy on saturdays i usually catch you you're going out going on to do some kind of jo job for somebody <laughs> helpful and some people are really like that and that's the nature of some people not everybody i'm not like that uh, but if i tell you i'll do something 80% chance I'll do it. <laughs> Maybe that down to 60 now. But uh, once upon a time, it was a lot higher. But now I'm old. I don't, I don't care so much about the trivial shit in life. When, when it bothers me, this is what I told Cirque. If something's bad and it bothers you, then do something. Don't tell me to do it. That's not bothering me at that point. But if you tell somebody, hey, you know, this is bothering me, that's another way to put it. Then they can go, yeah, that, 
and me and her had this uh it was something a piece of furniture or something in the house and neither one of us had ever complained to the other one about the thing being where it was so it just stayed there <laughs> and then it finally came up in a conversation about this thing whatever it was and we, ah, I didn't mention it to you because I didn't think you cared one or the other. And she says the same thing back. But the fun part is, is that that bit of furniture came up in just at, like at random out of nowhere and got both of our attentions at the same time. And when you, uh, when you live with somebody else, uh, being on the same wavelength they're on all the time would be kind of dull. I think. So me and Cirque are very <laughs> different. We have different ways of looking at shit. But balance is... Uh, how do you balance stuff? I know. I think I know what I do. I just do stuff. <laughs> and then judge it later when it's over. But um, how do you tell anybody else what... I don't think we take a lot of... Uh, actions so to speak more so that we think stuff this is like 90 what 90 95 percent of all this stuff is all happening in my head and maybe five percent of what i'm seeing is happening outside <laughs> and there's just so little of it you know but we make such a big deal so how did shit like uh voting <laughs> voting and uh, getting a license to do something so if you're living in that that is okay with you world well that forces the rest of us that are not okay with it to live in that world because consent <laughs> the consent of the people through the you know through the uh, political representation that we have well, I keep coming up with this fucked up mess world, and other people are always telling me that it's wonderful. Hmm. Financially, education, and uh, religion. Now, I'm not picking on people in any place. People are people. But the governments that rep represent the people. <laughs> oh my God. Man, are we getting fucked? They, they could do so much more for us all and come out with such a better end result but that's not it's not what the system is designed for I don't think now they got us now they're just gonna overcrowd places until they collapse the overflow you know like in LA they got tent cities this stuff's got to I mean I mean how do you explain it, a flood if you've never been in a flood? What these people are going to have is maybe an earthquake flood. <laughs> a, a mud and flood. <laughs> what do you think, sir? Out in California, they have like a shake and bake. Well, I'm from L.A. where it earthquaked. And I'm old enough that I was alive in the... What was it? 1971, I think it was. They had this real big shocker. It might have been 72. It was 71 or 72. I was a little kid. Yeah, we survived that. Survived all the ones afterward that I was there for. Even went to San Francisco for a while and got one up there. In, I think 89, 88. It might have been 88. And I think it was 88. Just a, hmm, might have been 89. See, I'm getting too old to pinpoint in through memory these particular years, what certain freaking events happened. But, well, I don't know. I wonder if that's going to all just vanish. <laughs> and I just sit here and watch a TV set, be, and it'll be me in the past. Because <laughs> I'm not doing that yet, but I could, I guess, if I wanted to. Lose, I wonder what you would do if you lost your mind. Hmm. What does losing your mind mean? I suppose to uh, other people, me losing my mind would entail hmm, 
I would assume some kind of negative like participation on my end towards something social. And I don't do those kind of crazy things, so hmm. Kind of makes for a boring life. Uh, I'm going to break into a boy named Sue and the mud and the blood and the beer. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, no, I I was treated all right because of my name. I've never had a, a problem with it. But as I got older, uh, it got shortened. And then as I got to Europe and the UK and Denmark, now, people out here use the French version of it. So, it's all just, yeah. It's all a matter of um, how you feel about the way things vibrate. I, I'm starting to get this. It's hard to keep it uh, conscious about it. You know, it's easy to get pissed off at shit. <laughs> or uh, not get your way at something. Or whatever the hell it might be. Disagreeing with... Uh, Hmm. Who is it? Uh, Mike. Me and Mike disagree all the time on the uh, RLM chat. He's Today he's H-A-G-R-I-D. In big old capital letters. For our viewing and you know, enjoyment. Right? And that's Mike. And me and Mike disagree about stuff. But doesn't mean he's wrong. It just means I see it uh, this other different way. And whether you're right or whether I'm right or not doesn't really matter. doesn't change what is. And what is seems to only... That's always justified by the person looking on it to decide what it is. So the, the reality of us not agreeing about some particular fucking thing, that's cool. doesn't rock me as, you know, as far as... Uh, Life, it's not life-changing. I kind of expect it. It's part of, uh, it's part of the thing, the game that we're playing. And you gotta have, uh, I don't know. I think we, we do pretty good with the tact crap about disagreeing. Because, you know, you get hot, but you don't, you know, you don't go too crazy on me. <laughs> I don't think. But, you know, it's a chat room, and in chat rooms, you can be a little bit bolder in type than you can nose-to-nose. Because nose. in nose-to-nose, nose, people are way nice. It is just freaking amazing how, <laughs> how, little, uh, how little of the time I spend not spending time saying hey to somebody that just recognized me. Because uh, I don't go every day to wherever I go. So it might be once in a week that some people might see me because they're not out the other times I'm out there's no specific time for me so I run into people when I run into them and and uh, sometimes it's just uh, hmm. no matter uh, how many times it happens it's always it's always they're glad I came by to, and they say hi so hmm. it's good to it's good to live in that positive kind of atmosphere I think is the right word for it a lot of and people that like Karsten the guy that owns the bar he's not a fraud and a phony if he's not in a good mood he's just not a good mood leave him alone he won't bother you just leave him the fuck be and you can tell by his face his mug gives him away and he knows it and everybody knows it so it's not like a big fucking thing and being smart enough to recognize that, hey, the boss don't want to be fucked with. Leave him be. There you go. Well, what? I don't see anything wrong with that, you know, that kind of behavior in your own bar. People drink. You got to flex a little muscle and show some kind of control or you'd have complete and total government. People be wanting to tell you how to fix everything. <laughs> So, this guy runs his bar fine the way he does. And sometimes he's cordial and he's friendly. And other times he's aloof and he wants to be left alone. So, you get a kind of a balance of reality, in my opinion. And I think the, the people that use the bar are pretty much like that. There's other bars to go to. And yet, this group of us end up at this one particular place. <laughs> and uh, it's comfortable. So... That in itself, in 
2019 with all the shit I see on the internet and all the shows I've done with like Vinny and Mary and the stuff I've listened to from Hal and Grimner and uh, Mary and Moose. Well, Grimner and Moose, but Moose too. And this little, the little group, how, what, got, um, Chuck Ocelli is on channel 14 five times uh, a week for people that are in New Jersey. I'd have to catch the podcast. And I got my hands full right now with podcasts as it is in my own stuff. So I've kind of, mm, I'm not supporting my fellow, um, radio jocks at the moment as much as I could I guess if I put a little effort into it but we do have the uh, <laughs> this is the best excuse of all we got the summertime that's right on us and we're just in August right now so you know what sometimes you get to get the fuck out the house in the summertime where it, it doesn't get blue you no know, whole fucking cold that you, you can't be out just cold enough to not want to be out 32 or so, about right in there, the low 30s, and that's about as cold as it really gets, zero, you know, to uh, be outside, so it's not real extreme, but <laughs> when it's happening to the individual, <laughs> we're, then we're, we're all equal for a minute, and you get to see other people go, ah, this weather is unfucking believable well, I got this real narrow extreme of that. We had like, I don't know, maybe five days of excessive humidity. And that's it. And everything stopped and went back to whatever our ritual is. I, some people don't like the word normal. <laughs> so I thought I'd change it. But uh, whatever the cycle is, because whether I think it comes in some kind of cycle, I don't know how it runs. It, can't be on our clock. That's all bullshit. <laughs> so, it's, well, whatever the U.S. And, and all these other groups don't interfere in, it works a certain way. And then you throw in some government regulation <laughs> and some rules. Some <laughs> well, hold it. Hey, you. And some, uh, and then you go go to court and have some fun and make some money over words and squig like Mary was saying, you know, squiggles on uh, pieces of paper. Because depending on who you show the document to, you're going to get a different result. You know? The mechanic that cannot read legalese is not going to be impressed. But hmm, maybe the mortgage broker that does will look at it completely different. Or maybe not, because uh, I had a friend that was in real estate. I've mentioned this too uh, a few times over the years, and no concept of uh, where the loans came from, how, no interest, zero. Didn't want it. The farthest thing from her mind, I would guarantee it. Yet, friends, and uh, she had a wonderful kid, blah, 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 blah. But uh, when it comes to like politics, and any, no, anybody but her. And she was a very bright, bright girl as far as being, a, you know, s smart or not, so to speak. But when it came to the uh, the inner workings behind her job, she had no concept of how it was done. So I, I always felt that she was kind of keeping herself in the blind on purpose. <laughs> But uh, she did good selling real estate. But I think that uh, the more you know about the truth of this stuff, the harder it is to probably do. And other times, there's just people that really don't care about the, uh, you know, like me. I don't care about how a TV set works. Push a button. There it is. TV's on. Push a button. There it is. TV's off. That's, that's how much I know. <laughs> yeah, but I don't really I don't care uh oh flash check time what time it's 8 o'clock oh shit Vinny left I got see I got lost so thanks a lot for hanging out at the dork table <laughs> you messed me up I thought it was uh, I got lost on the clock 
Thanks, Grimner. So we've got a closing for the dork table, and coming up tomorrow will be Grimner with the blues in the morning. Uh -huh. and we'll play some trivia, and then noon o'clock on the uh, West Coast, Hal Anthony behind from behind the woodshed. And Monday night, 7 o'clock on the East Coast, got Grimner with um, Grim Leftovers. It's where he does his leftovers from Freaker's Ball. Then Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. in Denmark, I'm coming on with In a Perfect World, maybe with Vinny, maybe alone. I don't know. It's weird. And then Wednesday at 7 and Friday, at 7 o'clock on the East Coast, you got Graham C. with the Rocket Chair Podcast. And uh, I haven't heard the Friday show yet, Mary, but I heard the Wednesday show, and I was pretty much, yeah. I like the way that uh, you see this thing and explaining it to people like that. I hope they hear you the way I hear you, because it's, it's good to know that people know or think they know. And anyway, that's the... Grams, Gramsy on the Rocket Chair Podcast, Wednesday at 7 o'clock on the East Coast and Friday. And then Thursday, I do a, a 2 o'clock in the East Coast. It's 8 o'clock my time. 20% hmm. off my, uh, my attempt at a solo. This wasn't my attempt at a solo, nor was <laughs> 20, uh, only 20% off was. So thanks a lot, everybody. Catch you next time. Uh-oh. Where's my buttons to close this show?